loading. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome back, levelers. It is me, Level Lee, and we are back today on Hogwarts Legacy. Today, we are going to pick up where we left off last episode. Remember, guys, to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and remember to hit the bell so you know when I post the next episode. All right, we are going to go ahead and get started. So, we are going to start out in our vivarium. Y'all have not seen this area, but this is my vivarium. These are where my, my um animals are. Yes, yes, yes. But... We're going to see what we're going to start off with today. So back on the path. So we need to meet Professor Fig in the map chamber. And I need to speak to him about recent events. Um, I also need to speak to Sebastian and Natty. Um, I think I'm going to speak to Sp Sebastian first because I can get Crucio from doing that. And that is a new spell. So we're going to do that first, actually. Let's head to Sebastian. We're going to talk to Sebastian. I believe he's going to talk to us about that secret room that was a part of Slytherin. So let's find him. All right. You're here. Brilliant. We are here. All right, let's do it. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a gaunt knows the location of the scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You. I what would I do? Try, but don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. Last time I spoke to him, he did not like me. He's this way. Hopefully this doesn't take too long because I know the stuff with Professor Fig will take a while. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Altergeist. Such a nuisance. But yeah, last time we spoke with Ominous, he was not very happy with us. So hopefully I say the right things. I am all up on Sebastian, but he's walking so slow. Why aren't we running? There he is. Where? Oh, good luck. Wish us luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I only like he's always in a bad mood. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe mm. place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. Suppose that makes sense. So I should have told him the truth. Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something, and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about what was it? A scriptorium. He told Girl, you know what he's going on about it. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the art of saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is best left untouched. Mm. Right. You've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, She'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents. I'm glad I don't have to say anything. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. Well, he done told us. to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I understand your caution. It's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. Oh, wow. 
I don't want the same to happen again. But I understand why he doesn't want to talk to Sebastian about it. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory. Get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. We could. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. He was convinced easily. We don't regret this. Sebastian, over here. These braves, Grant. Access to now the you're chair? You. you wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something mm -hmm. to do with trees. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, ominous. Interesting that my number three is for Fringo. I'm lighting on three. I don't see what the problem is. Ah. I hope we're ready for this. I got the order. Oh, hopefully this does not take a long time, guys. Let's do it. Dark ominous corridors. My favorite. Y'all is so dark. It's a good one. Very. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. Okay, this is not to a gaunt, but that's his aunt. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there is more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I have written to my brother. He now knows how I access the corridor's entrance and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium it's a maze with many challenges to solve this sucks <laughs> i hope that my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors legacy together not to a god a journal entry signed by noctua gaunt gaunt ominous your family was here i know she was my aunt you knew Oh my god. I do not care about their conversation. I'm not gonna lie. Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. There may be something to the grapple form to relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice. The voice? Speak to Ominous about the hissing. Oh, that's Sebastian. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice. It's dark. You don't hear that? I hear, that I hear a whisper saying. Oh, so he can speak I to. Uh, yeah. I can hear and speak to snakes. Like Voldemort. Mouths are descended from like Harry Potter. We might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I think it's just associated with. It in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. Well then open it. You're having second thoughts. Um none at all. Let's go. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Parcel mouth I don't think that's a dark art. That's just a gift, I feel. Yo, it is so dark. You possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us, I never mind. What? What did that mean? There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Y'all, I cannot see anything. He wanted this to be difficult to solve. Oh my god, why is it so loud? Then look closely at each gate for clues. Slytherin lock. File requires focus. Not not to have said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Rotate up or down. Uh, 
Ow! Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. I have to solve it fast. But I don't know. I don't know what these symbols. I can barely see the symbols. One. Oh, oh, I see it's on the gate. So the circle and the serpent, the affinity. Okay. Got it. Counting the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. <laughs> Please. I can't see a thing, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Here we go. Sorry. I had to use. Okay. And then where's the gate? Oh, there's another letter. Well, that's three. Where's two? And where's the gate at? Should I just look at the... I'm gonna look at the note. I failed the dial and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent. But I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. This scriptorium must have proof... That there's more to our legacy than meets the eye, not to a god. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. Maybe? Y'all. my favorite person in the world. Lumos. I act like I'm not a wizard. I had Lumos this whole time. Okay. So, what we're looking for is the gate. Is it right here? No. Uh. Okay, this is probably the second one, yeah. So Salazar Slytherin buried the scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I am a descendant and yet I feel I'm welcome. Lighting these braziers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through. Not to not to a god. This journal entry, it mentions getting Oops. lost and being unwelcome. So this is a lot to what gate? This one. It's like uh I don't know what that is, and then like a Z. I could probably find it. Okay, the Z's on the bottom. Another gate. So Slytherin like to play games. Plus one in the family. Look Got it. Sebastian. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Lumos. Y'all are not helping at all. That's kind of crazy. Y'all not even saying, hey, look over here. Here's the gate. All right. Extraordinary. This journey is painful, but rewarding. She wrote so many notes in such a close span of time. This journey is painful, but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. Salazar Slytherin intended more than that than what we've become. I know it. Rupture references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Hey, that's the part I'm with. No way my gear slashers fool. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Lumos. And look at them, like, posted up. Not trying to help at all. Okay, a triangle and a circle. What a beak. It's over here. Another, not the welcoming sort, was he? I 
Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. <laughs> Spotted something ahead. It's troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Why do you spot ahead? Lewis. Oh. Oh. The gate. I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Oh my god. Talithar Slytherin created a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now, if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. So I have to cast Crucio on somebody to get it or to pass? Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here. Blocked by an unforgivable curse. Oh my god. It's where she died. This is where we'll die. Shouldn't have listened to either of you. Bro, calm down. I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. Okay, what we gotta do? You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. Mm. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. Then he should cast it or you. Favor. Will you ask him about this? Ask him, cause you're cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Oh, poor ominous. He doesn't want to cast that. Either I should cast it on Sebastian or he should cast it on Sebastian. Not on me. No. All right, let's see. Ominous, I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I will <laughs> do it. Cruciatus curse is pure torture. I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. He blabs he everything. Has a choice. I live as guilty as the worst. No, you didn't. Family. You didn't have a choice. Curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that, I shall never. Forgive myself. That's it's okay. I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. Well, then you're gonna have to teach it to me. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Okay. Let's talk to Sebastian. If neither one of them will do it, I'll do it. Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus curse again. Ridiculous. As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Right. I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I have to choose? I can cast this if I have to. Okay. I can choose if I want to learn the Cruciatus curse and let him cast it on me. And teach me the cruciate. This is what I wanted, y'all. I wanted him to teach it to me, and then I was going to cast it on him. But now that we're in this situation, I think he should teach it to me, but he should cast it on me. You shouldn't use a curse unless you know how it feels on you. 
You know what I mean? Like something that bad, you should know how it feels so you know what you're causing other people to feel. So we're gonna go with the middle one. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. And you better, uh, you better remember, Sebastian, I'm for real. You better remember that I did this for us, for you, for us. All right. I want to learn all the unforgivable curses. Oh, God. Cairo, I know that hurt. Are you all right? Yeah. It was excruciating in that last fight. Let's keep moving. Oh, right. wow. We found Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium. I can't but believe we're here. All right. Okay, my gear slots are full. All right. Okay, this is his spell book. Ominous. There's a book just here. Found something. Give the book to him. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. Oh, okay. I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the caliber of student needed to be exceptional. But he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as pure buds. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I tire of the discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. He's a real piece of work. It is heavy. It is with a heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views. A descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought one who should rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. So he's talking about the Chamber of Secrets. Um, if you know, you know. Okay, I think I've got everything. Let's talk to Sebastian. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe honor you know what? I should have cast it on Sebastian. What will you do? <laughs> Hindsight is 2020. What do you do with every book? Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. Uh, we just explored it. It's breathtaking. <laughs> We should want to leave, but I owe you both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. I should have cast it on him. Would have died. We must swear never to do this again. Because the way he's acting, he he acts like that was light, like that wasn't something really like crazy to do. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Like to actually use an unforgivable curse is not a light thing at all. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant 
what I said before. Mm. We swear right now never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I'm sorry too, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. You're welcome. So now we are going to be off to see Professor Fig. We're not going to meet Natty because that is far away and we don't have the time. We're going to go ahead and f do the second keeper trial. That's what we're here to do today, guys. All right. I should have did it on Sebastian, the cruise she had his curse because he took it too lightly. And for me to take that instead of um, showing him how much like that cost. I, I don't think he understands. I wonder what that means for me that I learned the, an unforgivable curse. Like, oops. If I go to my, uh, my curses. See, I have this now. It's not something you can just, you can either get it or not get it. I see now. Um. And I feel like I don't want to use it. <laughs> I might just, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a big deal. And I wanted to have it, but I also don't really want to use it. Look at how pretty. Wow. You would be wise not to underestimate the student. Oh, he's... aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever... And I've been teaching a lot. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. Hmm. There you are. Hi. I received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. Well, what did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? Uh, I do. I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seems sincere, and Sarona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm that he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lodgok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Hmm. That helm yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something. Yeah, there's much. Yeah, he is searching for I've something. Heard an unusual amount of activity. Goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Hmm. Who the castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. Of course it is. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I feel like I've been there. I returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. I'm so... Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. Well, they've been there for a while. The luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Professor Fig, you're never any help. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I believe we we've, we've been to Rookwood Castle. And this is a map. I'm guessing that's Hogwarts. And that's where I went for the first trial. So this must be Rookwood Castle. Alright, so guys. What I believe is, 
I believe that we've been to Rookwood Castle. Why I believe that is because it sounds familiar. I think that's where um, Anne, Sebastian's sister, got um, cursed by the goblins, but I'm not too sure. So we've got a big task ahead. Oh, we're passing through? Yeah, because we went to Feldcraw right over here. And we fought all those goblins over here that last time. I think it was uh, episode 8 or 9 when we talked to Sebastian in Feldcraw. But we're passing through here. So I'm going to stop and talk to Natty. Hopefully that doesn't make this episode too long. We're going to go ahead and stop and talk to her so we can get that done too. Um. God, you are here. Good. Yes, I'm here. Is this Mr. Brickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Okay. I have to find a child. If anything happens to him. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. Oh my god. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? The awful at Harlow. Mm. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? You don't suppose? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, or he may have left on his own. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I doubt it. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow, when my husband. <laughs> do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest. They here. they never can he tell me specifics. Gone. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Mm. Yeah. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? <laughs> He's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. Mm. So what did he have on your husband? Harlow have to kill your husband. My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but mm. he, he was convinced that... That what? <laughs> you didn't tell me anything. You will find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Girl, I don't know. So he challenged him? When I took the letter we found to Officer Sam, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Hallow. Oh, wow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found. Uh -huh, stop. We were too late. We're going to find Archie's hideout. What did Singer say about the letter he brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. More? Oh, I've been here. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. I've been here. Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way. Revelio. There. Archie's footprints. He went this way. Girl, how did you find him? Oh, here. Why is his footprint so distinct? I thought we would have found out. Expect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him. I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find oh. Archie quickly. 
Yeah, we gotta find him. Girl, I'm following you at this point. I don't even see them no more. What the? Where are they at? Oh my god. I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. Okay, let's go. What is this? Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlem. Maybe a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Archie went this way. We don't have all day. About this. Hallo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. Revelio. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Well, we're heading the way we need to. In the road. We will need Revelio again. Rebellion. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Hallow caught up to him here. This is not good. Mm -hmm. They went this way. This little boy better be unharmed. There's a thrust drill right there. I have one though. They're strands. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see thestrals too. Hi. I was dead when I was nine. Saw my first thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some help. There's a lot of thrusters, and this is not even a beast so day. experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. Oh. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. That sucks. It was a long time ago in some ways. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Girl, I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear about your father. Girl, let's go. Oh, maybe we should do this stuff. On your guard, there can be no mistakes. Girl, we can run in here. We can run up on them if you want to. Shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, let's get our spoils. 
That's why I said we could run up in here. They had not known us for real. I probably could have done it stealth, but they didn't deserve stealth. They deserve for me to come in there and tear something up. You know what I mean? Where is Archie? Enter the charm tent. Where is Archie? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got enemies. I didn't expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Girl, it complicates things a lot. This is not what I was going to do today. And I did not upgrade my stealth. There's one, two. There's a lot going that way. So should we go this way? Well, there's a lot going that way. There's another one. I think I could get him, y'all. Nah. Let's go back around. I'm so surprised they didn't hear none of that. We could just go in here guns blazing, y'all. What y'all think? Okay, I hear you, Archie. I hear you. Son, I hear you, son. Okay, we gotta get this little boy out of here. Archie Bickle. Your mother sent us to find you. I'm so glad to see you. Sounds like a little girl. Sorry. Like, as in the voice actor, y'all. A little more. <laughs> All right. Archie, come on out. Oh, so sorry, Archie. That sucks. Let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. 
Let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Okay, so we're getting him home. Um, if y'all want to stick around, we can still go to the trial. Um, I believe I'm just gonna keep going. Why not? They're not even My friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Raid. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, it's Otto. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Hmm. Well. Your husband's friends may be in danger, just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. We can defeat him. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. He's already after us. I'm just saying. I don't to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. Of course. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. She could have gave us some change. The rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. <laughs> Maddie talking about we're here to help. About Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Okay, we're on level 27, which is awesome. Um, We're done that. So, we were in Felcroft, but now we're not. We're back here, which sucks. But that's okay. We're still going to the trial.